When it comes to buying a private PC, even though you don't have to have knowledge on how to build a PC yourself, you have to have some sort of knowledge on which one to buy because you want to buy the right components, but you also want to buy a PC that's going to be amazing for the price and get you the performance that you want for your budget. For that reason, I'm going to tell you what to look for on a private PC and how to avoid the bad ones. With that in mind, let's start. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that the CPU and GPU combo are going to deliver the performance that you're expecting. This goes especially for low-end systems because trust me there are a bunch of pro PCs out there that look amazing with RGB and the case looks fantastic but the problem is that the CPU and GPU combo are going to determine most of your gaming performance so if you choose the right components the performance will be trash and at the end yes perhaps you have a nice looking system but you're not having a PC that will deliver the performance that you wanted. For example this STG gaming PC from Amazon, it looks amazing, it has that front mesh panel, a ton of RGB fans and you may think this is a great PC for just $500 but the thing is you get an i7 with no generation on the name. Private PC companies do this for marketing, they put i7 or i9 but they never put the generation which is really important so if you see it says i7 and it doesn't say anything after, for example i7 12700K, it's a major red flag. This i7 on this PC is either from the 3rd gen or 4th gen from Intel which is really old and will probably bottleneck the whole system so you won't be getting the FPS that you want and the worst part is that it's going to be is that it's going to be laggy in most titles depending on the settings. If you're new to PCs and you want to see the best CPU GPU combo I will leave you my video in the top right of the screen where you can see the best GPU CPU combos for gaming in 2023. Also this might happen on the high end PCs as well. Take a look for example at this Corsair PC. It looks great. I absolutely love the design of the system, it has great airflow, you also get great components like the i7 13700K, 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, 1TB of SSD, this is a great PC overall but you get the RTX 4070 for $2200. Even though this might not be the biggest mistake if you buy this PC because you're gonna be getting great performance at 4040p ultra settings. However, take a look for example at this Prism 2 from Skytech with the i9 12700K and the RTX 4070Ti instead of the RTX 4070. GPU is gonna make the biggest difference when it comes to gaming performance and with this system you're gonna be getting around 20 to 25% faster gaming performance for the same price. So just make sure that you're getting the best CPU GPU combo that you can get. And of course, there are other factors that are important as well. And that's why on number two, we have the airflow. On lower end systems, I would say under $1,000, airflow is not that big of an issue, even if the PC case doesn't have really good airflow. For example, the HP Omen 15L doesn't have the greatest airflow out there, but since you get components that are not power hungry, this is not gonna be an issue. You are getting the RX 6600XT and the Ryzen 7 5700G so you will not have thermal issues on this system even though the airflow is not promising. However, when you start spending more money on a PC you want to make sure you have good airflow especially if the components are high-end. For example, take a look at this Bellstorm PC for $2200 with the i9 12900K which is really power hungry and the RTX 3080. If you take a look at the case, it doesn't have any front mesh panel and it looks like the air is only going through those lines on the side, which is not very promising if you ask me, especially considering the type of components that you're getting here. On top of that, the i9-12900K requires a big CPU cooler and here you only get a 240 in one liquid cooler, which is not bad but not ideal for this i9. Or take a look at this other PC from ABS that has the i9-13900K and the RTX 4090, which is arguably the best CPU GPU combo for anything in 2023 and once again you're getting not enough airflow. To make sure you avoid this problem I highly recommend you getting a PC with a front mesh panel for example this Skytech Eclipse Lite you get a beautiful front mesh panel three RGB fans on the front one on the back and you also get a 360 only one liquid cooler on the top which is gonna be plenty of airflow for this Ryzen 9 7900X3D and the RX 7900XTX which are one of the best combos for gaming on the market right now. Now, it doesn't have to be from mesh panel. You can get really good airflow in other cases. For example, the PC I've shown you before, the Prism 2 from Skytech. You get airflow from the side with three pre-install fans. You also have other three pre-install fans going under the system. And then you have the three fans from the 360 only in one liquid cooler 
on the top. So this is great airflow and it doesn't have a front mesh panel. So as a rule of thumb, yes, look for something with a front mesh panel if you don't know anything about PC cases. But just know that there are other ways for the air to come through. Now, there are more important things on private PCs such as the guarantee or the brand reputation. However, just keep in mind that any private PC can fail sometimes even with the most reputable brand out there. So as long as you're buying from a brand that has a good support system and I do like recommending a Skytech for example, you're gonna be completely fine even if the PC goes wrong, you're gonna have that much needed support. And I know that if you're a beginner this might sound hard to find the right primary PC especially if you have zero knowledge on systems, that's why I'm always making primary PC videos. So if you want to see the best primary PCs of the month, you will have that video as well in the top right of the screen and I highly recommend you watching it if you're gonna buy a primary PC because yes you can do your own research and that's fantastic but you want to make sure that you're getting the right system for your budget and needs. So that's my recommendation and if you have any questions on private PCs or maybe PC builds just let me know in the comment section I will try to reply as fast as possible. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.